We monitor volcanoes in three ways. Firstly, listening and recording seismic activity. We have seismometers all over the country that are operating in real time, recording in real time and sending that information to a central computer system. What we're looking for is an indication that there is a change in the background, if you like, normal pattern. Secondly, we're monitoring the land surface to see if there's any rise or fall. And thirdly, the chemistry of hot fluids, cold fluids associated with our geothermal systems, volcanoes. If there's an increase in sulphur dioxide and carbon dioxide, we become worried. Interestingly, there is no other city on Earth that is built on a volcanic field like Auckland. The last eruption, Rangitoto, was about 600 years ago. We know a great deal about the actual process, what happens when magma of the type that we have around Auckland, we know what happens when it gets to the surface and how it behaves. So we do have a fair idea. What we do not know is when it's going to happen and how big it's going to be and where it's going to be. And, of course, these are all things that we would like to know precisely. That's the only way that we humans can really handle it. So in the event of an emergency, it could happen rapidly in a matter of hours. On the other hand, if it's protracted over a long period of time, we might have a lot more time to seriously plan an evacuation and so on.